Welcome back to Houston, Texas at the Family YMCA. My name is Dave Vincent. It is the WPH race for eight. Season number three, race stop number three, and it's been already just an action-packed weekend of great handball action as we now have Andy Nett and Robbie McCarthy. And Robbie already just hitting that laser almost screen serve to one of the hardest hitters in the game. And I think Andy's going to find out very, really quickly how hard Robbie McCarthy can hit this ball. Robbie's playing very replay it. simple right now, kind of simplifying the game. You can see already, but boy, there have been zero, some upsets. Sean Lenning for Third. the second year, Dave, as we welcome in Dave Fink here, has just gotten defeated by Anthony Celeste, who, who qualified. Now, Anthony, I guess we act like we're surprised here, but Anthony was the number one seed in the qualifier. Mm -hmm. And so it's not as big of a stretch this year as it was last year, but a lot of what's happened this year is because of what happened last one year. He's got zero. all those points, and that's why he was the number one seed. Well, Dave, before we get into this match, I think it's an even bigger upset this year than last year. Last year, you could say Anthony was an unknown right that out. Sean Lenning had never seen or heard of before. Maybe he took him lightly. This year, you have to think Sean Lenning was coming for revenge. Zero, serving one. And having said that, Dave, he lost even worse here today. He wasn't even that competitive today. He trailed 15-5 at halftime. I know, Dave, there was a couple hundred people out there watching it, all just stunned. Point. And many of them watched it happen last year. Well, that wasn't the only upset. We, one, we saw another one. When, one. I guess you can't call it an upset, although, it, you know, if you look at the rankings, yes. Dermot Third. Nash defeating Alan Garner 25 to 5. I guess the upset part is. Second serve. Uh, the five points from Alan Garner. And then Marco Chavez taking down Nadi Alvarado. First tournament win in his career against Nadi. Both players 40 years of age, but Marco Chavez Side was up. a qualifier loser who lost to Dermot Nash. And that means that if Dermot wins one, tomorrow and so does Marcos, mm -hmm. they'll Good. play each other again. Yeah. That, that's a first. So we're, a we have a lot of possibility. We have some firsts and Second we have some serve. seconds here. There's some qualifiers Having taking down. Having talked to a couple of lucky losers, Point. Dave. They said, you know, I knew the situation. I saved myself. You know, I got down in that match, and I saved myself. Two, I said, you know what, I'm one. playing again today, and I want to give it the best performance I can, I can give. Now, Andy Ned here, Dave, has been a staple, obviously, on the race tour. He's been one of the Point. six guys who's qualified for the Players' Championship in both seasons. He had 10 consecutive Three, one. race for eight quarterfinal finishes. That was snapped at the U.S. Open. Did take 10th place there, but right now, Dave, he's, Point. he's scrambling for points, and he's a guy that is, as we speak, on the outside looking Four, in of one. the Players' Championship bubble with Aaron Garner having that great win today against Luis Cordova. Oh, so yeah, That's another good one. Yeah. I, mean, I guess that's an upset also, particularly with Aaron Garner trailing 23-17 against a guy he'd never beat before. Came back to win that. But, it, you know, Andy Nett, Dave, odds are stacked against him a little bit right Side now. He, he was forced to fly in today, and you know that it's difficult to adjust from 30,000 feet altitude and get One right into the court. Four. Normally you need a, a night to get rid of that jet lag of sleep. Doesn't have that luxury. Then he pulls the Irish number one, Dave. I mean, there, obviously no easy matches in this round of 16, but you'd have to say Side probably... Up. Pulled the toughest guy if you go by past accomplishments in current rankings. Four serving one. Point. And Andy is a guy that doesn't seem to match Five, up great serving one. against the Irish. You remember he lost to Kieran Carroll badly at the U.S. Open. 21-4, 21-2. Went on to lose to Martin Mulkerns in the same tournament for ninth place. Also not close. And now he plays another Irishman. Finds himself on the wrong end of a 5-1 score line. Well, let's see if Andy can take some of that nervous energy from that flight mishap and maybe turn it into something positive. Andy wearing the blue shirt from Winona, Minnesota, now living in Eden Prairie, which is just down the street, and Robbie McCarthy. Side out. From County Meath in Ireland, and he's wearing the Irish colors. He came in and said, hey, One, I could wear the five. WPH shirt on this live broadcast right now, or I can save it for my match against Dave Fink. Now that's some confidence right there. And I said, you know, just save it for your Fink match, although you just never know how well Andy's going to play. 
Dave, you know sometimes those plane flights, they get delayed Twelve and point. all that mishap that happens at airports, which mm -hmm. seems like every time you and I fly. Yeah. It Two, sometimes gives five. you this nervous energy where yeah. you've got a lot of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. I've seen it work negative and sometimes positive for some of these people. Andy seems like he's a guy who can crush the ball and perhaps he can get into some kind of in some kind of groove. He's also a great retriever. But for us older guys, it's really tough to get those legs going after a flight. Right Andy's up. not quite what you'd call an older guy, but he's not approaching his mid thirties. Yeah. Five serving two. Robbie McCarthy's Third. only 26. Seems like he's older, Dave. He's accomplished so much and he's been Second around so third. long. He was one of the most prolific junior players that's ever played. Only lost one junior match in his junior career. That was to Luis Moreno. Before that, Dave, he'd beaten everyone so badly. Right out. In fact, beat Anthony Celesto, who went on to beat Sean Lenny today, 21-1, 21-0 in the juniors five. 10 years ago. Robbie McCarthy, the proud father of two children, Dave, said that really keeps him busy. Also makes parts for Bentleys. A car that you'll never see in Tucson, but Side out. I read see about him on it. TV. I read about it in Tucson. Yeah. Five serving two. You're watching the WPH Third. live broadcast at raceforeight.com and I want to thank those that have tuned Second in, serve. but also have shared the link on their social network sites and really promoted watching handball over the internet and beyond. And there's a right skip out. in from McCarthy. Both players playing a sloppy game Two, here to start off. Five. Robbie's been here for just a day and a half. But Point. he's been on this court a lot. Mm. Unfortunately for Andy, he was supposed to be in yesterday. Three, serving five. And he was going to experience a canceled flight. Andy overhits with his left hand. Point. Four, serving five. Short. Second serve. Score now four to five. You just can't count Andy out. Dave, a lot of these players have a system. Mm -hmm. They won't discuss with you what their philosophy is. I, sometimes I don't even know if they even know Side what up. that system is. It's just something that they do when they play that has made them Five, champions. What do you think that system hold is? It, hold it. What do you think that system is that Andy Nett has? First strike shooter? Well, I, I think Andy really concentrates on his serve, but I don't think he puts enough concentration into that next shot. It's almost as though he's going for aces, which he does get, but you have to realize when you're playing against these great Five, players, most of the serves are gonna come back. I think, Dave, he needs to think a little bit more about what he wants to do with that first shot, because he gets a lot of setups. Charlie Shanks mentioned, Dave, that when Andy Nett starts to make that first strike kill, he'll be virtually unbeatable. Point. Andy has so much firepower, but it almost seems like he wants to engage in these long rallies because he's Six, a great get artist. Four. He uses his height and his length to track down a lot of balls, but I think he'd make it a lot easier on himself if he could take care of that first strike. And Dave, we have Point. word, and that's an amazing shot from Time Robert out McCarthy. Net, your first one minute. Seven serving four. Interesting, Dave, while we have a little break in the action. Only once in race history had we seen a lucky loser defeat a one through four seed. That was here last year. Anthony Celesto, it actually became a verb. Celesto, Sean Lenning. Here today, we've had two instances of a top four seed losing to a lucky loser. Of course, Celesto, two. I guess you'd call it the Celesto Lenning, two. And also, Nadia Alvarado, who wasn't sharp against Marco Chavez. Sean Lenning has pulled out of the 9 through 12 playoffs, which means we will play the standard 9 through 12. Sean Lenning will receive one ranking point, but that's the most he can receive. He'll tie for 11th. 20 seconds. Okay. Nadia Alvarado Jr. will play Dave Chapman in that 9 through 12 playoffs. Luis Cordova will play the loser of this match. 
And uh, there's just been a lot of, I mean, there's so many things you can talk about here. Yeah. I brought it up earlier, but Dermot Nash is going to play Anthony Celesto tomorrow and I'm probably defeat him ball. just yeah. based Outside off of uh, right his ranking versus Anthony's if the, if the seeds hold true. Yeah. And that puts Nash in. Now, if Marco Chavez defeats Emmett Pichot tomorrow, it could happen. Yeah. I mean, it could happen. Yeah. It's a legitimate chance. That would mean that Marcos who played Dermot in the qualifier four. final and lost, yeah. could be playing him again in the semifinals for a chance at the finals here. I mean, that in itself would be another couple firsts or seconds that we've ever seen. Now we're back into the court here. But Dave, and that's not even the beginning. Look at what Side Dave out. Chapman did to Martin Mulkerns yeah. in the qualifier final. Martin Mulkerns, incidentally, Dave, who's out of four, this tournament now, has lost four consecutive main draw race matches after just bursting onto the scene with a incredibly impressive win against Emmett Pichot. Hold it! Oh, oh. nice shot. That's, <laughs> I called it for the safety. I can't, re I can't redo it now. That's a tough one. I don't look at your result and change my call. That was a very nice shot, but I called it before for the safety. I thought you were going to land on him. And this is just one of those things that happens, Dave, the referee looking out for the player safety, which I think probably the right play because you come bailing through there, you're looking at the ball, but you're trying to jump over your opponent. And sometimes you could just trip and fall on your face. You don't want to see. serving seven. Point. Five serving seven. Now we have a point on the scoreboard with Matt at five. And you heard John Pike, I believe that's who's repping here, just say something in the middle of that rally. Side out. Not sure what he was getting at. Seven, serving five. Point. Eight, serving five. Point. Nine, serving five. Point. Ten, serving five. Three play. Referee jumping Ten, in there. Serving five. Stopping that play. Nice left there from Andy. Pushes right Robbie back with hop. And that's probably the toughest shot to play, Dave, was when you're pushed back to your left. Five, serving 10. Five, serves 10. Point. Six, serving 10. Seven, serving ten. And that takes that fist and just hits this crazy shot right there. Standing a foot away from the front wall, he hits it all the way to the back, and now he's back into this rally here. Somehow survived that terrible shot. It's like jungle ball in there right now, Dave. Well, you know, Andy Nett can do that, Dave, because he doesn't really play a traditional game, so he can engage in some of these crazy rallies where he's just hitting the ball so hard. Right. They might not be technically the right shot, but he's just 
putting so much power on it that there's not much you can do. Well, that goes back Eight to what I said. What is, what is his attack? Is it just the serve and first strike, or? I, I think sometimes he doesn't know. You know, Andy Nett's a guy that played some handball as a junior, but you know, doesn't necessarily have the Point. percentage handball schooling that maybe some of these other guys have had that, you know, played consistently from the time they were eight or nine until nine, now. Serving Andy ten. Nett, Dave, took a break from handball to become an All-American football player and baseball player. The guy is just an unbelievable athlete. He'll never tell you that because he's as great as he is humble, but that's the facts. I look at Andy Nett Davis, one of the most professional guys I've ever seen in handball. I mean, this guy doesn't complain. He shows up what you call motivated, time prepared, out, he's Your second, on time. One minute. Uh, you can't really say enough about him. Not to say that our other guys don't do that, Dave, but Andy Nett literally acts and carries himself like a professional athlete at all times. You're watching the WPH race for a timeout called. This one is a little closer, I think, than maybe even Robbie McCarthy thought would happen. And Andy Nett, who is very professional, just gets off of a plane, had some severe weather warnings all throughout this Midwest and East Coast, and certainly here in Houston, which closed the airport for about a 10-hour period. So Andy had to rebook those flights. Meanwhile, Robbie McCarthy sitting in a nice, comfortable bed waiting for Anthony to get seconds. here. Anthony's, excuse me, waiting for Andy's time, start time. And Andy even got the tournament directors to change his start time to seven o'clock before he even got on a plane because he knew there was issues. And now Andy's just a point away from tying this one. Resuming play, 10 serving nine. Short. And Robbie had Andy fooled there. Frustrating as a server Second when serve. you know you had your guy completely off balance and you hit it a couple inches short. And Dave, what do the Irish do to just be so smooth? Is that just 10,000 hours of court time? Is that coaching? Nine serving 10. Is this just what you get when you have the elite of the top 100,000 players playing? It is truly remarkable. Yeah. They're all just so smooth. Maybe, Dave, all emulating Paul Brady. Point. Yeah, that's that's one thing. It could could very well be the Paul Brady factor, but also ten serving ten. I see that. You know, they think that's you know they want to get that mystique of what Paul has has been able to get. You know, and, and I think that's very important for the reason why we do what we do as an organization and film these events, these young kids go in and they see their idols and they try to act like them. And yeah. how could you not idolize Paul Side Brady? Out. And you see how he's just a machine. He goes and handles himself Ten. quietly when Serving he's there Ten. at the tournament. He goes in and wins and he leaves and he's a champion and that's what it is. And you see a lot of these guys are very nice on and off the court like Tony Healy and Paul Brady and Dave, Dave Pink. Thank you, Dave. Point. Floor's okay, Andy? How's the floor? 11, serving 10. And Dave, Andy Nett has come all the way back here. Point. And now Robbie quickly 12, regains the lead. 10. Short. Second serve. Replay that, re early hinder there. Our referee, Dave, is Hall of Famer. 12, serving 10. And number one senior race for eight star, John Bike. I know that it's a great thrill, Dave, for these players to have John Bike refereeing them. I mean, it's a great thrill to have John Bike just glance in and watch your match. Yeah. Let alone referee. And it's great, Dave, that a guy like John Bike will step in when you need a referee. Oh, yeah, that's even it. better. Down, you had it. No, he didn't. Uh, that's we don't why play, we call him one of our great ambassadors. I, we don't play him, though. You're right, but we don't play him. It's a side out. 
10, serving 12. Eleven serving twelve. Boy, Andy's really holding in on this, Dave. Well, Andy is, is kind of an enigma, Dave. I mean, you remember last year in the fifth place final in this Point. event, he lost to Emmett Pichot twenty-five to one. Went on to beat Emmett the next three times they played. 12, you know, it's just 12. that's the kind of that's the kind of inconsistency that Andy Nett can have sometimes. Now he's been very consistent Point. in. <clears throat> making race quarterfinal after race quarterfinal up until the last event, but sometimes he seems to have these matches 13, where he's serving 12. he's just not there for whatever reason. And I think that happened to him at the US Open. You know, Andy's not a guy that'll ever make excuses, but he said, I just played terrible. I mean, for Andy Nett to say that, he must have had it. Well, that's not an, an excuse, day. that's just yeah. stating a fact. Okay. That's, I think that's more of a stand-up thing to say is I'm, you know, that guy's better than I am. Well, I think it's a little different than saying he's better than me. Well, Point. I played terrible is pretty direct. And now Andy Nett just getting closer to that 15th point here in halftime with a lead against Robbie McCarthy. And I would say that this would be 14, an 12. upset, even though Andy's been on the Pro Tour for quite some time. Robbie McCarthy, you might think differently, hasn't proven himself necessarily. He is a U.S. Open former champion. Side out. And Andy could have ended that right there, but did a Sean Lenning corner miss. Well, Dave, you know, that's a big miss. 12, Normally 14. in a 14 to 12 miss isn't big, but you want to go into halftime. And Point. instead of 15, 12 at halftime, now Robbie has 13, closed 14. the gap, possibly could go into halftime Good. with the lead. And, you know, Andy Nett could have had 15, 12. This is all about the what ifs in sports, but. Second serve. Andy has rallied from a 10 to 5 deficit where he looked. Broken ball. Well, that's, I believe, the first one I've seen today, Dave. It is, actually. It, I think, Dave, that these courts are panel, and I think you'll see a lot less ball breakage when you're playing on panel as opposed to cement. I, I know you're more scientific when it comes to that sort of thing. Yep. But I would think it has something to do with that. Well, yeah, certainly. This, the court isn't as hard as yeah. the ones that we play with back home that are all concrete. This is what seems to be soft panel, but... These guys are hitting the ball so hard. But that that ball could have very well have been, you know, used in a previous match, but I have a feeling it was probably brand new. The thing is, Andy Nett really does hit the ball hard. I don't know how many people realize, yeah, other than you, Dave, you've been at the winning hand and the losing Kay, hand back resuming against play. Andy, and he 13, hits the ball really hard. 14. And Robbie's no slouch. Point. And there's another point now tying it to 14. 14 serving 14. And Robbie looks like he just decided that he's going to play hard ball. And how would you describe Robbie's style, Dave? Because he's very smooth. Seems like he can kill the ball from anywhere on the court, but seems to rally a lot. Play a lot of percentage handball. Yeah, it's kind of a hybrid. I, I see him being like a quarter to 40% Luis Moreno with his smoothness, especially with both hands, just like that. Point. He goes into halftime. And there is a three-minute timeout 15, with Robbie now taking 14. that lead. That was a huge momentum change yeah. right there when he, when Andy missed that corner kill. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in two and a half minutes. Stay here for more action in the last half of our live broadcast on a crazy Friday. This whole tournament's been strange. But we'll be back in just a bit. For Dave Fink, Dave Vincent, stay here at racebreak.com. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay. Like all right. They might surprise you. Uh, she took another sip. You saw it. Search we can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle.
my life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. Back in Houston at the Family YMCA, my name is Dave Vincent alongside Dave Fink for the second half of this Irish versus USA showdown. It's the round of 16 as Robbie McCarthy faces Andy Nett. And it is somewhat crazy Kay, we have already serving. because Andy had a deficit. A as you recall, I believe he was down six to one. All of a sudden he's in the lead versus Robbie McCarthy. Pretty big, in fact. And then Robbie comes back and ties the score and then gets that one extra point to go into halftime. But Andy gets the first serve. And that's also big, Dave. Coming into halftime breaks up the momentum of Scoring Robbie, who 14, had scored three in a row. Serving 15. This match really up in the air right now. Oh, and he gets a crack serve. Doesn't quite fall down, though. Robbie digs it out. Back into the rally, and Robbie skips it in. Now we have 15, serving 15. a tied score. Andy looks like he's acclimated from that plane flight day. Mm -hmm. Really strong. Yeah. Andy's one of these guys, Dave, that doesn't hit a lot of flat rolls with his left, but he hits the ball hard and with a lot of hop. It's so hard that a lot of guys are just standing in one spot and they just turn their Point. body without moving their feet and just sticking a hand on yeah. it. And there's nothing you can do. No. 16, serving 15. You know, Dave, Robbie isn't necessarily the type of get artist like Emmett that can run around and Point. get to everything with You're his feet. Feel here. I called the serve good. But he has these amazing ball soft stands. hands where he can drive the ball right 17, at him. 17, serving 15. And he, he's able to flip the ball back in. Almost like a John Bike Short. in that way. You know, I thought that was good, but no Second appeal. Serve. Point. And now, Dave, Andy, who was unlucky not to have a 15 to 12 halftime lead, missed 18, out on that by one inch. 15. Now has scored four straight since that halftime break, and a lot of that has Short. to do with he came in with the serve. Second serve. Robbie McCarthy, Dave, is a guy that a lot of people have as a sleeper to make it to Salt Lake City. And that's starting the second half of the season with no points. Should he lose here today, Dave, it'll be almost impossible for him to qualify for Salt Lake City. You know, Dave, in golf, you talk about certain courses for horses, as they say. Is it possible, Dave, that, out. and Andy just misses that. Is it possible there's just certain courts that players 15, serving 18. seem to really shine? I mean, Aaron Garner, Dave, Short. made the semifinals here last Second year. Serve. And now here he is again with big wins in the quarterfinals. Anthony Celesto really has done nothing of note outside of this particular club. And Andy's got to do more than that. Hold it. Hey, that's not, I, I generally give the guy the shot, so don't say anything, all right? I mean, that's borderline. Sloppy it's not rally there. 15, serving 18.
great get there from Andy after a terrible return of serve, and now he's in the rally. And here's Andy's in the driver's seat right there. Robbie flips it around. Andy dives in and. Point. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. I I didn't I didn't see that. I was what? I. I'm sorry. I didn't see it, and I was giving you a crack at it. Andy, Andy says arguing, he's that he saw Robbie lift his hand up that he. All right, they're going to kind of cancel each other out here. Robbie, that's not a good habit. On, on his shot, you have no say. How did, gonna, how gonna did gonna Andy see it. that? I, how did Andy see no, no, Robbie no, 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 lift no, no, his no, hand no. up and, and the concede the is, fact? I mean, if I see you put your hand up like you. You just said you, you just told him you did. Watch this here, Dave. This is the shot where Robbie makes little contact right there, and now watch. Robbie's upset with himself because he knows that Andy's going to lay into this. There's the hand lift. Okay. How did Andy see that? Well, shot. as a player, Dave, you really pick up on that. everything. There's I mean, nothing that can happen. Andy's diving in. Do replay. And Don't do anything when it's his shot. Well, that's unavoidable, right? It is. I mean, if in fact he put his hand up to stop play. But I think he felt that Andy was just going to come in and plow that ball, and he was frustrated that he felt there was contact and he lifted his hand. But Andy somehow, in a dive, was able to see the hand lift. You and I didn't even see it, and we're looking no. at a high-definition camera. Yeah. But, you know, your instincts is so heightened when you're in the court. And Andy Point. went with a backhanded dive, attempted retrieve and this is really going back and forth now Dave three point runs from each guy both guys having a lot of opportunities Short. I know Dave that Robbie McCarthy has his handball crazed family Second and serve. fans pulling for him right now not only his two lovely children but also his sister who's a top player Aoife his dad also Dave, I know that in the McCarthy house, they start it just before they can walk. A lot of people say they started playing handball when they can walk, but Mr. McCarthy actually Point. says that that's too late. You've started too late if you've waited that long. <laughs> He's, they've had almost all of their world championship and GAA crystal broken Third. by kids playing handball in the house, and Mr. McCarthy says, well, it's worth it. Second serve. These kids are, yeah. are getting their licks in, and that's more important than my my trophies. Boy, Robbie is just really dictating the flow right now. But it seems like that can change. And this is, could be where it changes right there. And Andy, and Andy falls down. Does he sprain his ankle there or hurt his knee? Point. Oh, this could be bad, Dave. Uh, this is a strange tournament. I've never seen all the crazy things that have happened in one event and John Bike immediately running down to help Andy Nett here. We have to look at the replay. Wow. Watch Andy's right knee, I believe, left knee. This could be a, a torn ACL here, Dave. I've, just, I've not seen a handball player go down like this, but. There it is right there. And Andy completely collapses. His tournament is over. I mean, somebody, nobody collapses like that. I, I don't have a clue what just happened. Uh, it doesn't look good here. I mean. This is an injury timeout, isn't it, Dave? It is. I heard a referee saying they're using your third timeout, but. Wow, that's just a crazy looking play. It's like one of those little Pez games that used to have as a kid when you push the button and the, the little horse with all of his legs and everything would fall. That was just a strange well, thing. I've that never seen play. that happen in handball before. Well, we don't see what happened. There's, it must have been like. Well, I mean, uh, you know, you've seen people injure themselves diving or running into the wall or maybe into their opponent, but Andy was on his own there. He didn't dive. He was set up to hit a shot. And next thing you know, he's on the ground. A very unorthodox 
every time I see it, I keep looking at his legs to see what it was that happened. Well, Dave, you've had a lot of knee injuries in your... <laughs> Just a strange looking play. And Robbie hits it right back to where Andy's standing. So, you know, this wasn't one of those overacting, I just made the worst shot of my life type of plays. Dave, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, it, I, this isn't one of those, I just made a terrible shot and I'm kind of hurt. This is a guy that seriously felt some kind of strange pain. It really immediately looked like an MCL, ACL type situation there. With that was Andy. my first reaction. And I know you've had experience with that. But it could have been a pulled muscle um, it, cap. Not cramp, though. You don't. Very strange. But I can tell you about these cramping injuries, and that's what it appears that it could have happened. It's like a guitar string 18. that goes off. We're tied at 18 Third. here. You know, we saw Andy Nett dislocate his finger last year in Second Denver and serve. go on to win the match. So this is a guy that can play through pain. We just don't know what it is, though, right now. Well, he looks fine now. But okay. I, I think it's a cramp that just happened to strike a chord with him. And he well, I hope for the race for eight's sake that it was just a cramp because I was worried that maybe the season was over. Well, look at him now. Uh, it's obviously nope. not affecting him any. And there's a side out. 18 to 18 now as McCarthy 18, gets the last couple points here to tie it with Andy. You know, this is what happens when you're on a plane mm -hmm. flying out you. and getting onto the court and playing. No, Great I agree play. with you, Dave. It's, it's a good point because no, your body not, is not just close. not in the right condition to play. 18, and serving 18. In fact, Dave, I hate to make it all about me, but I got off the plane at the World Championships in Ireland last year after about, a, you know, 10 hours of flying. And I just went point. to the court to tip it around. I run into Mark Mulkerns, who just asked me, you want to hit it around? We end up playing a, you know, a really grueling 19, match, a practice 18. match. I pulled a disc in my back. I wasn't the same for 10 months. And I believe it was because of sitting on that plane and playing hard straight off the plane. Point. Now that story longer than it should have been, obviously, <laughs> Dave, but my well, point, your point 20, confirmed there. Yeah, but while that story took place, Andy Nett scored two more points. So yeah. maybe the plane ride. Well, I actually thought it was going to be about five points before that story ended. Maybe the plane ride is actually a good thing. And Robbie's going to tee off on that, push Andy back. And that's about the spot where Andy originally got injured. This would be if Andy were to get five more points here. Look at that pre-dive, almost gets it. Really? It's cramping up right there, and Andy's Ow. having some more problems. And I believe that's why John said you can't take a timeout because it was a cramp and John knew it. Now, Dave, when you're cramping like this, it, do you try and just end rally sooner? Do you, are there certain shots you don't go for? I think you go for you try to end the rally immediately, try to get back to the hotel, put some ice, and start drinking a lot of water. Yeah. And this is what happens. You are not, when you're on a plane, you are not yeah. given a lot of water. I mean, it's. But doesn't the, the plane dehydrate you even if you are drinking yeah, water? Yeah, I mean, it's pumping yeah, air through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Dan. Yeah, they give Dan. you peanuts and things full of salt, and you're, you know, I you have issues. And too, yeah. Come back here with my towel. And you see Andy, John Bike doing a nice favor here he for ran Andy Nett. my towel. Well, Andy right. needs to learn some Dave Chapman techniques of how to 18, give himself some 20. more time. Andy Good. lobbying for a glove change right there. Oh, really? Well, look back at the ref okay. like this during the serve. Second serve. Okay. And you can see that he's trying to pull a Dave Chapman, but Dave would have done it a little bit sooner. Right. And there is a point for Robbie McCarthy. And this is going to be a frustrating one for Andy if he goes on to lose this yeah. because he's going to say to himself, I could have hydrated better. Uh, I can't avoid these plane flight issues, but without that plane flight, I'm probably Point. winning this match, and now yeah. we're tied at 20. <coughs> and Robbie just is getting a free 20, gift here. 20. Well, this is the fourth time we've been tied in just Three the last play. 10 rallies. So definitely the closest match we've seen today. 20, serving 20. The upsets we have seen, Dave, haven't been all that close. Marcos beats Nadi 25 to 12. Boy, Andy's just Point. not going to win matches by sticking his fist out there like that in the middle of the court. 21, serving 20. It's going to be a great write-up tonight on the action that came about here today. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. Boy, Andy's just not mobile at all. He's lucky he's still in this rally, oh. and then he gets a uh, side out there, which is a great shot from Andy, 20, who needs these legs 21. to put that great serve together, and he just... I don't know if he does, Dave. He may not need his legs to hit the crack. Oh, you, uh, you thought he was going to go for it. He actually did. And Andy's moving just well enough to track down almost everything. Boy, it's tough to go back to hit a ceiling shot when your calves I are hurting. I thought you could have let that come off the back wall. This one does come off the back wall. And I thought that could have been a hinder. Wasn't called, though. Well, he Looked saw like Robbie slowed down. Well, he lifted his arms, but he didn't make a big scene about it. There's contact. No call. Replay. Oh. And the replay eventually called. Now You're Robbie's saying you didn't him. call mine. I don't know if what you, I, I saw what you did. Yeah, that's yeah. You're out of timeouts. Yeah. Who's out of timeouts, Dave? Andy Nett. Okay. There's that contact right there. And then that's why John said, "I saw what you did," okay. meaning I saw that you ran into him on purpose. Boy, that's a pretty cool serve right there, from Andy. And that's Little the contact one that Andy again. has to put away. Replay. More contact. Yeah. Both but players touch twice in a row. Mm -hmm. But Andy has to be frustrated because he has 20, the fly kill there. 21. If he could have moved his feet a little bit quicker, he could have shot that down the right. And Dave, how about some of those cool shots that Dearman Nash hits when Point. seemingly the ball jams him and he just has that finesse? I mean, I don't see that a lot, Dave. I don't see it at all. It's very interesting, 21, I can tell you that. 21. Really soft off. hands. It's like a modified Irish whip, but an Irish paddle or something. Yeah. Well, unquestionably, the, the match of the day so far right here, Davis. Whoever wins it will have earned it. Side out. You know, oddly, all of these crazy upsets and strange happenings here have not been caught on the live broadcast. Uh, but this one is a strange happening, I guess, with Andy cramping like this. Robbie is one of two guys who's never lost a race match. Now, he's only played Point. four. He won all four of them. He's trying to keep his perfect record intact here. And this draw now is just wide open. You've got Luis Moreno, Dave, at the top. He's the favorite coming in and still the 22, favorite. 22, serving 21. You've got the number Hold two it. and three seeds already out of this event, Dave, in the first round. What? as well as the number seven seed who is tied for the points lead this year. So he's really one of the top players as well, having won a stop. 22, serving 21. Replay. Twenty-two, serving twenty-one. That ball jams Robbie, but he hits a beautiful two-wall pass, and Andy looked like he was going for a kill shot there off the back wall. He didn't look like he was just trying to flip that back into play. Boy, Andy's going to be really frustrated after this. And Andy just can't move Robbie out of the front court. He's trying to hit the ball an inch high with Robbie up there at the short line, Dave. Maybe he tries to hit a passing shot and open up that red carpet area for a kill. But he's not doing that right now. Point. And now it looks like Robbie, Dave, on the verge. Remember last Robbie's last race match, he won 11-9 in the tiebreaker against Charlie Shank. So he's, point, serving 21. he's given us some thrilling battles in this short race career. There it is. Nope, Andy dives in and gets it, and Robbie can't get it. Andy back into the service box here. And Crowd Andy wisely it. here will spend a little time trying to find a wet spot. <laughs> uh, Andy for sure. 
And I then need you to change your gloves. Robbie, let me see yours too, please. We're going to have a two-minute timeout. We're also going to yeah, take go one here. Too. We'll be back in two minutes. Stay Coming close for the conclusion of this one at racefor8.com. It's Timothy Green's first day at school. What's in there? He's well, about to fall anything over. Anything he might need. There's a box of tissues on the bottom. It's a band-aid. There's a whole first aid kit, actually. Mom, I can handle it from here. You don't have to be perfect. Have a great day. That's too much pressure. Have the day you have. To be a perfect parent. There are two people in the world who want you more than anything. They'll make some mistakes, but they will love you more than you can ever imagine. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Rethink what you know about this Vegas icon. Elevate your expectations at the Stratosphere Hotel, Casino, and Tower. See what's new, up, down, and all around. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Good look at Adam Bernhard there, Dave, who's a local star here in Houston. Well, he just got ran around by Luis Moreno. As Luis advances to okay, we have net, his next net round. Serving. Good break. The ball broken. Another. The race standings, Dave, are going to be really tight Another after this event. Ball. Hard to predict exactly where, but you're going to see about eight guys within two points of one another. And that's w before Paul Brady even makes his race debut. <laughs> and you know that Paul Brady's got one of those spots in his sights. I've already actually conceded to him, so it's a race for seven spots. I feel bad for Andy here, Dave, of course. Robin McCarthy will be happy, but I know he wants to play Andy at his very best and it's just unfortunate circumstances for Andy who had to fly all day today from Minnesota had to take a couple of different planes and uh, does this break right here help a guy with cramps Dave you don't cramp often when you play but is does this break that Andy's taking is that going to help him recharge his battery a little bit or well does that I just make it stiffer I can't speak to cramping I haven't I've suffered from dehydration but never cramping Andy will need to score at least 26 to win this match and that's just the worst shot that you can hit Dave is the corner kill falling back with your opponent in the front court because that ball pops right to him and you're basically helpless and here's Robbie right. to win the match for the second time. Remember, Andy held off match point with a diving pass shot with his left hand on the first match point. It's not easy to close out these race matches, Dave. Even if you do have a, a big lead, that's I like a great that two shot. pass Andy. right there from Andy Nett. Beautiful. Now, Andy, you know, if he's going to get a lot of side outs, it'd be better if he scored a couple points every time he got in there. 
Oof. And there's one of them. And that was a, an excellent serve from Andy Nett. Another amazing serve. That time Robbie is able to get it back. But Andy completely in Point. control of this rally. And Andy, Dave, with a second strike kill, set up with a beautiful power hop left. And I think at this point, Dave, Robbie's the one feeling the pressure. He's had the match points. Andy Nett was almost out of this event. And now here he is with second life. And another opportunity here. He doesn't put that down, though. No, he went for it, though. And Robbie can't get his hand on it. Now we're tied at 24. And we are going overtime here in this race stop. And you can hear that the crowd is now cheering. And Andy is limping into that service box. No matter what, we will be in extra innings, as they say. Andy gets the next point here. It does not win the match. I've got butterflies, Dave. I do, too. Yeah. And, that's oh, an and he almost serve. got that crack. Andy takes something off of that kill. Robbie able to get under it. And he puts that in the perfect spot, yeah. too. Side Boy. out. And he net had some opportunities yeah. there. He did go for that shot with the left hand. I thought it was the right shot to take. He just didn't execute it. He could have gotten that ball to slide the wall or click that left side wall and crack out, but he missed both of them somehow. And now Robbie is serving here at 24. Point. And he gets a three bounce serve right there before the back wall. And now he's serving a game point here at 25 24. That was more emotion than I saw from Robbie McCarthy. He won that's the U.S. It. Open and now uh, two straight wow. aces. Two aces McCarthy, to close it out. And that's another one of the, the things that we'll talk about yeah. after we do this tournament wrap up. I mean, it really has been some exciting handball here uh, in, in Houston. It, uh, I mean, not starting with this match either. I mean, the, a lot of stuff that we didn't see live were actually, uh, I guess we got it all in our last match of the day right here for us to actually witness something good without having to go out there to those side courts. But uh, congratulations, Robbie McCarthy, 26-24. Uh, the score line, probably not what you thought back at home when you saw the matchup on paper, but it was close. And Andy Nett came back and tied it at 24. Robbie goes on to win. That means now Robbie will face tomorrow a guy by the name of Dave Fink. You might have heard of him. That's going to be a matchup at 10 a.m. Marco Chavez is going to go up against Emmett Pichot at 11 o'clock in the morning. And then at 12, it'll be Dermot Nash and Anthony Celesto. Aaron Garner versus Luis Moreno at 1 o'clock. If Dermot Nash defeats Anthony Celesto, and on paper, that's exactly what probably would happen based on the seeds. And if Marcos defeated Emmett Pichot, they would face each other twice in this tournament because they also face each other in the qualifier final, and they both moved on. That would be a first. Probably never happen again. We're going to have handball starting tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We're going to say goodnight for now. For John Bike, Dave Fink, Linda Manning, Chris Garad, Jeff Castor, and those that helped with this live broadcast, my name is Dave Vincent. Thanks for tuning in. More handball action tomorrow here at RaceBreak.com. Here we go. We're going we're gonna to make some juice. It's going to be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay. Like it. right. They might surprise you. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together.